Hi guys. Welcome to this first video. The first video will um, focus on the calculator for materials. And um, let me check. We are going to jump right in. I already gave you an introduction of this module, which is going to be very special and very long as well. <laughs> so let's jump right in, guys. And um, let me start showing you what we are going to do and what you are going to learn in this module. So here is my screen. Okay, guys, so this calculator is a calculator for materials. And, and this is where we check for materials that comply with the EPDs, the HPDs, and the um, sourcing of raw materials, okay? So usually you are going to see that these calculators have um, a tab with instructions, which is this one that you are looking at right now. And here in the IP units, you are able to either use IP units, which are um, square feet, or SI units, which are um, square meters, okay? So this calculator will ask you either for the actual cost of the whole materials that were used permanently for the project, or it will give you a default cost. And with this default cost, what you will expect is um, maybe like 45%. What uh, the calculator does is based on the total cost of the project, it gives you a 45% of that cost, which goes only to materials. So that's the default cost. But if you have the actual cost, then go ahead and use the actual cost, okay? If you don't have the actual cost, because sometimes the client cannot give you that information, but will provide you um, a global cost of the project. And um, it might be that um, the person that's in charge, you know, it's classified information. So, um, they usually do um, give you this information once they know that it's it's going to be used for the certification and, and that it's um, going to uh, it's going to be used on your behalf. Then um, they usually don't have problems in giving you the information because it's, it's pure calculations for the materials and the credits. But just in case you have options, so um, and that's that's that. And once you have that information, you will you will put it right here, and it will give you the total material cost. Okay. So once you've done that, what you do is that the cost that you have for the whole materials that were used for the project, that cost must be on your total materials cost right here. So what you are going to do here is put all the information of every, every, of every and each of the materials that were used in the project and their costs. 
And this is the information that you will need um, from the materials. Uh, you can either, this is optional as it says, you can either put that um, ESI division code or just, you know, go ahead and put the description. Um, just make sure that um, you place here that your materials are for structure or enclosure. If they're not, just put no. And the description of the material, for example, doors, windows, um, concrete, the manufacturer name, for example, Holsem, um, Semex for concrete. Um, you can use uh, any type of materials and put the information of these materials in this table right here and the material cost. So once you either can put all the information, the materials here first, and then once you have your total material cost, um, put that information or that amount 